Hey, so I am going to show you how to make your touch chat bilingual um, for Spanish. So first I'm going to go to the vocabulary that I'm going to be using. So I'm choosing Word Power 60, which is my favorite. And I am going to copy the vocabulary because otherwise it will get upset at me. So I'm going to find Word Power 60 Basic. Okay, and that's just going to be copy Word Power 60. Okay, here I am in copy Word Power 60. And then I'm going to save a profile. I am going to go to settings, save profile. And actually, I already started this. Um, it's going to be my initials and then ing for English because this is going to be my English version. And I'm going to actually say yes. I'm going to save it. Do I want to overwrite it? Yes. We're all good. Done. Okay. Now I need to go in and make another copy. This time I'm going to be making a copy of the Spanish version. So I'm going to try, I'm going to find Word Power 60. Okay, it's there. I'm going to copy a vocabulary. I'm going to find it in Spanish. Word Power 60. Word Power Spanish. Copy. I can't remember what. I wonder if it's. Here it is. It's saved here under the um, the Spanish languages, and then I want to do a setting. And I'm going to save a profile, and this time I'm going to call it CDC. My initials, Spanish. I'm going to hit save. Done. All right, okay, so now my favorite place to put these changes is actually on the period. And the reason I like to put it on the period is because I really want my students to be able to access their second language um, right from their front page. And honestly, even though a period is great in terms of literacy, you can find it in other places. And if someone really wants to speak the message, I just encourage them to hit the message window. So here I'm gonna go to menu. I'm going to go to edit page. I'm going to edit the button where the period is. I'm going to edit this button. The button label, so I'm in Spanish, so I'm going to change it to the button label is going to say English. Um, I don't want a message on it at all. Um, I don't actually want an image. Um, I'm going to go to actions. I don't care about these things. So actually, I'm going to delete all of them. And then I'm going to add select profile. And I'm in Spanish, so I'm going to select English. I'm going to hit save. Now, if I hit done here, we're on our Spanish page. If I hit English, it should hopefully go to the same profile I saved but was called English. Yes, okay, great. Now I need to do the same thing except direct it back to Spanish. So I'm gonna say menu. I'm gonna say edit page. I am going to edit my period. I'm gonna edit this button. I'm changing my label. This time we're going to Espanol. I don't want it to say anything. Clear no image. Going to actions, I'm getting rid of these, get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. I'm going to add, remember I'm trying to change to a profile. Select profile. This time it's in English, so I want it to go to the Spanish version. I'm going to hit save, I'm going to hit done. Now let's see if it works. If I'm in English and then I want to say one or more words in Spanish, I can switch to Spanish. If I'm in Spanish and I want to say one or more words in English, it will, yes, 
it worked. All right, so that's how you do it. That's how you uh, put, make it pretty easy for bilingual students to switch back and forth. And I, I can, now look, I'm like, I could put the period in here. So period doesn't go away. It's just not on the home screen. I can go, I can, and then go to Espanol. And then, and then actually change um, what I'm doing there. So that's another cool feature. One more thing that you might wanna consider is while you're in your profile um, for your different voices, you can um, settings, we're gonna load this profile. I might want a different voice here um, instead of Fred, maybe I would like someone that actually sounds like they speak Spanish. Um, here we go. Emilio, he costs money. Rodrigo, he does not cost money. So um, I can download the voice and then use that voice for when we're on the Spanish page so that it actually sounds more authentic uh, because nobody wants a um, computerized American voice saying their Spanish words. Now, um, What's gonna happen if you have a sentence like this? What voice is it gonna use? Well, it's actually gonna use whatever page you're on. So if you're on the Spanish page, it's gonna say it with the Spanish um, voice. Y can ayuda. Right, E, because it said that part in, um, it said that part in the Spanish voice and it's pronounced differently in um, Spanish. But if I go over here to the English and now listen to it. Right, so now it has an English accent. But that way you can get some more authentic voices as well as super easy access to um, two different languages.